For the first time in 14 years, Dan Dolphin is not going to be on the Vikings sideline after he retired this offseason. Assistant coach Kevin O'Neill is taking the reins in a transition made easy by a coaching staff that decided to stick around. You know, it wasn't really much of a transition. So uh, Dan Dolphin is obviously uh, no longer in the area, but we still have to stay in contact with him. And the entire coaching staff has stayed behind to help uh, in the process. So I just, you know, decided to come up and, uh, and take over the reins and can't replace Dan, but uh, it's, been a, it's been a wonderful journey. Obviously, we miss Dolph. We love him being here. But, um, you know, we had Coach Kevin the past two years um, and then Coach Willie, Paul, Coach Smith and then uh, Mitch Tate. Uh, they've just they've all been here for so long that it was really it wasn't too big of a deal. You know, they all kind of run the practices pretty evenly. Um, so, yeah, there was no it wasn't a hard change with the new leadership. The Vikings took a hit after graduation last year, losing star players like Jack McGorry and Tyler Schiffko on attack. But where some of the biggest losses are felt are at face-off and between the pipes. We've got several positions that the kids are fighting for right now. So face-off is really a key component of, uh, of our lacrosse team, and we've got uh, kids fighting for that position. We're trying to train a couple kids as well, too, on the face-off position, but defensive midfielder. We really lost some strong kids there with Mason Maxim and others that really the game is won and lost at the midfield. So we're trying to uh, fill some of those gaps from last year. Our defense is mainly still here, but losing Davis last year is definitely a huge hit to our defense, just communication-wise and just knowing the game. But we have two goalies I think we we're working with and pretty good options for us. And we're just all over the place, middies, attack. We're just filling a lot of spots. A lot of young guys this year, but everybody's given a great effort at practice, and I think after a couple more weeks, we'll be looking real good. Something that made Allentown Central Catholic so successful last season was strength in schedule. That's something that has carried over into this 2022 season as the Vikings will be facing at least four out of area teams from the Philadelphia and Jersey area to help better prepare them for what they hope will be another run in states. It was nice to just go down there and see how they play and see what we did differently against them that worked and then we can bring that here. So we went and scrimmaged Episcopal and we learned a lot uh, from them. We got some film from that. So it's, it's just been really good and we're going to be playing a uh, Penn Charter this coming Monday in a little scrimmage and then West Town during the year and then uh, I think two other ones. So it's going to be really nice to just get out of the Lehigh Valley, see what they're doing well, maybe in Philly or something and see if we can bring some of the, that stuff back. At Iron Lakes, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.